are in Microsoft Exchange 2010. I'm going to show you how to delete a database. Uh, before you do that, you want to make sure that there are no users, mailbox users, in the database itself. So first thing we want to do is open up Exchange Management Console, click on Mailbox, and then we want to go ahead and add a column into the Mailbox list here. So we're going to go to View, and we're going to go to Add Remove Columns and we're going to add the database column. Click OK. And so here we see that there is one user in database uh, one uh, test123, which is what we want to delete. So we got to move that user first. So we got to right click here, choose new local move request, change the database that the person is in, click OK. Next. And this should be pretty quick since there's no mail in this particular test mailbox, but uh, larger mailboxes move about one gigabyte per hour. Go ahead and click finish, and then we'll go down to the move request, and we'll want to clear that move request as soon as it says it's completed. Right now it's doing some back-end information, so now it's completed. Okay, so we right-click, we choose clear move request, yes, we go back to our mailbox, we refresh, and now we have no mail in that old database. So now we'll go back up to configuration, organization configuration, mailbox, and now that we know this database is empty, we can right click on it and we can choose remove and yes. And it says it completed. Let's remove the database physically if you want to get rid of it. Uh, the, the, so the database will still be there, but it just won't be shown in Exchange itself. So click OK and now the database is gone from the Exchange organization.